Today I'm doing an experiment. You know how much I love experiments. <laughs> um, so I wanna make a Petri uh, trinket dish. And this is one that I made. And I made this with Naked Fusion. And what I want to test out today is a couple different resins. So um, this is a design I do quite often, the Petri. But it's very dependent on your resin you know, getting this kind of detail is dependent on your resin and the temperature and the timing. And there's a lot of things that go into it. So what I want to do today is see how two other resins work for this. If I can get the same look with these other resins. So in the, the one on this side, I am using the Unicone resin. This is a one-to-one. -one. And then on the right hand side, I am using Let's Resin. This is also a one-to-one. -one. So I've already mixed them up. Um, I have five ounces of each ready to go. And just my overall, um, so far, how I think of them. <laughs> um, Let's Resin is thinner than the Unicone but both of them are thinner than Naked Fusion. That um, is maybe a good thing in terms of bubbles because just, let's see if I can get this on my other camera here. So you can see there are some bubbles in there. This is the less resin, but it's, it's pretty clear. It's not bad. And then the Unicone. And these have been sitting about five minutes. So, you know, I could probably let them sit five or maybe even 10 more minutes to let the bubbles uh, rise up. Naked Fusion, in my experience, is a little bit more bubbly at this point. After I've mixed it up and let it sit for about five minutes, there are a little more bubbles or maybe not quantity wise, but maybe they're a little larger. But I get really beautiful clear pores with Naked Fusion. Um, so I don't know really if the bubbles matter <laughs> at this stage. So I do like to kind of blow them off the top as they're coming up. When I do these with Naked Fusion, and I'm gonna try and do these in the same way, um, I usually pour the resin in right after I mix it up. I don't wait, I pour the resin in that gives it time for the bubbles to rise up to the top. And I put my ink in right away too. And then I wait until I swirl it. I wait until it's pretty thick before I swirl. And that's how I get these effects. So I'm gonna try and do it the same way. I'm trying to compare apples to apples here. So for my inks today, I'm using the Picasso alcohol inks. And then I'm gonna try putting a little bit of metallic in there too. So I have, um, this is the, I forget what this is, Ranger and the Sterling. And then over on this side, I'm using the blue, green, and navy from Picasso. And then this is like a coppery rose gold metallic called Mind. And then for my sinker, I'm using the uh, Pinata Blanca Blanca. Let me just go ahead and pour these. And like I said, I'm gonna try and do this um, the same way I do my Naked Fusion one, so I'm gonna pour and then just let it sit for probably about five more minutes to let the bubbles rise up. I'm gonna take my dotting tool now. I'm just gonna run it along the inside edges of these molds. Just wanna release the bubbles that I see sticking to it. All right, so so far in terms of mixability, I think they're both very much on par with each other. They did mix up faster than Naked Fusion 2, I will tell you that. Um, 
to get to a full mix, these were both, um, they mixed more quickly. Naked Fusion, you have to mix a little bit more. So that was nice. Um, fewer bubbles or smaller bubbles so far, that seems nice. So now I'm gonna put the ink in. So I'm gonna start with the metallic. Now the metallic um, doesn't usually sink the way the colors do. It's, it creates kind of a cool effect though. That's why I like using it. But I just put a little bit kind of here and there. I don't wanna overdo it. <laughs> Cause as you can see, it spreads really far. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the magenta. What's the other color here? The ruby. All right, now let me do the other one. All right, now time for the white. So same thing as with the copper, you have to um, shake this because it settles. You have to shake it until you hear the ball. It makes much, much better Petri results if you shake it well. <laughs> And then I just use a little dropper. So I am noticing with this one, because the resin is thinner, it is moving towards the center a lot more aggressively than it is with this one. Um, cause thicker resins, they don't move quite as much as they're sitting here curing. So you can tell this one's not moving as much as this one is. And that, and I'm not talking about how the alcohol ink is moving. I'm talking about how they're wanting to pull towards the center. If you look over here, you can see it's, there's some lighter areas where the, the color has pulled in and that's not happening as much on this one. All right, color again on this one. I'm just gonna let these sit now. Um, and I'm just gonna kinda see what happens. I will come back. I'm gonna let them sit until I can dip my tool in and when I pull it out, see how that's separating? What I want, what I'm waiting for is when I pull it out, the resin stays on the tip and it pulls up a string. That's how I'll know it's ready to swirl. If you swirl it too soon, it's just gonna kind of blend out and it's not gonna keep the nice sharp edges like this. So I'm gonna be back and I'll let you know how much time has elapsed when I come back. <laughs> but I'm gonna let, I'll come back when they get stringy. Okay, so it has been 20 minutes that I've been sitting here waiting for these to thicken up. So they definitely take a lot longer than what I'm used to with Naked Fusion. <laughs> but they're getting thicker. So let me just show you what I'm looking for. So when I dip in, it pulls up a string like that. This one is not quite ready. Now I mixed this up first, I mixed this up second. So this, I'm expecting this will probably take another five minutes or so. You can see it's not stringing up the way this one does. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and swirl the pink one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm trying something out. So with this um, design, after I swirled it, it didn't move. It stayed exactly where I swirled. So I'm gonna see if I can use that to my advantage by just outlining a shape. I'm gonna outline this horse shape. Just cut this out on my Cricut. Um, I'm gonna try not to dip it into the resin. I'm gonna hold it a little bit above. <laughs> this is gonna be a challenge. But I wanna see if I can actually create a shape instead of just swirls. So I'm just gonna try to go in straight. this green one we still have to wait for so I'm gonna wait a little bit longer and then I'll come back and finish the green one okay these guys are all cured and I cannot wait to demold um just kind of looking through the mold I don't really see the horse design but we'll see <laughs> even if it's not there these are still gonna be beautiful Okay. Bottom looks pretty cool. Very, very different. Okay, so yeah, you can see it a little bit. So this is a very different, I mean, just ignore the swirling. But the way that the um, resin dropped is very different. Obviously there's a lot of white and a lot more dropping than in the Naked Fusion one. And that's probably because the resin is so much thinner. You can see some little bits of the silver, some like right here, a little bit here, some little flashes in there. So that looks so cool. I love it. The sides, Definitely had more dropping on the sides. You can see the Naked Fusion one, there really isn't any. This one, there's quite a bit. That looks so neat. All right, so that's that one. So just looking at these, you can see how much more um, the resin like pulled towards the center. I actually came back, I don't know, maybe 15 minutes after I stopped filming. And I put some more drops just on these two edges because it was really transparent. And you can see on this edge that it still pulled in. And then I even tried to swirl it back out, like push the color back out. And um, obviously it didn't really go back to the edges. So this resin, because it was so much thinner, it really pulled to the center. So I'm super curious how much dropping we got. So, all right, the big reveal. Oh, look at that. There's a lot of white, but I'm okay with that. I am totally okay with that because it's pastel. And it looks so cool. Oh my God, look at those edges. It's so fine. It looks like little threads. I just love, I just love these effects. All right, so there you go. The two different resins and the effects that I got. You can tell there's a little more white that fell through on this one than on this one. But they're both pretty similar, but very, very different from the Naked Fusion. <laughs> so, all right, well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And as always, 
please subscribe to my channel. Make sure you hit the notifications button and share. And I will see you again next time. Take care.